Hi guys, let's look at this simple question that we have here. I told to find the value of x in square root of x multiplied by square root of 18 all over square root of 3 is equal to 8 square root of 3. So this is a sodic equation or equation involving sod. So in order to solve this equation, the first thing we are going to do is cross multiply in order to eliminate the denominator. Because whenever an equation contains a denominator, you either cross multiply the equation or multiply both sides by the denominator. Okay, so this will be divided by 1. So when you cross multiply, this denominator multiplies this numerator and this numerator multiplies this denominator. When this numerator multiplies 1, it will remain the same. So we have square root of x multiplied by square root of 18 is equal to 8 root 3 multiplied by root 3. So on the right, when root 3 multiplies root 3, the square root will cancel out. So you have square root of x multiplied by square root of 18 is equal to 8 multiplied by 3. 8 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 24. We have square root of x multiplied by square root of 18 is equal to 24. So we've done a little work on the right. So let's consider the left side of the equation. Square root of 18 is the same thing as square root of 9 times 2. So we can have square root of x multiplied by square root of 9 times 2, which is equal to 24. Square root of 9 is 3, so we can bring that outside the bracket. We have square root of x multiplied by 3 root 2 is equal to 24. So in order to have x alone on the left, we can divide both sides by square root of 2. So this will give us square root of x multiplied by 3 root 2 divided by 3 root 2 is equal to 24 divided by 3 root 2. So on the left, 3 root 2 is going to cancel out 3 root 2. We have square root of x is equal to 24 divided by 3 is going to give us 8. So 3 is going to cancel out 3. 3 is going to cancel out 24 to give us 8. So on the right, we have 8 divided by root 2. So have we gotten our final answer? No. We are looking for x, not square root of x. So we are looking for x and not square root of x. This means in order to eliminate square root, we need to introduce the opposite of square root, which is square. So we are going to square both sides of the equation. So square root of x square is equal to 8 root 2 square. So on the left, square root and square will cancel out to have x is equal to 8 square is 64 all over square root and square will cancel out so we have 2. So at the end of the day we have x is equal to 64 divided by 2 is going to give us 32. Very simple. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like the video, share with your friends and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more mass content. See you in the next video. Bye.